President Joko Widodo has been an avid observer of discussions on terrorism and extremism by world leaders that often take center stage in global forums. Jokowi feels the law enforcement and security approach that resort to use of military force or legal action have been the very cause of the development of terrorism. During a speech to leaders of the G20, Jokowi questioned the effectiveness of military force in combating terrorism deeply rooted in various parts of the world. Jokowi says the best way to deal with extremism is through an intellectual approach. Jokowi explained the roots of terrorism, poverty, social inequality, and marginalization of minority groups must be eradicated. The president adds, if countries can boost cooperation among authorities in initiating the intellectual approach, he is confident the spread of terrorism can be curbed. He has also asked G20 nations to cooperate in the exchange of information and intelligence, especially concerning funding of the terror groups. But Jokowi has assured the government will certainly use force if necessary. The Jokowi Kala administration has put heavy weight behind eradicating homegrown terrorism. At the top of the list is the ongoing manhunt for the remnants of the Santoso terror cell. The leader of the East Indonesia Mujahideen was shot dead during the Tinombala operation on July 18, 2016, in Tambarana village, North Poso <laughs> Coast Subdistrict. Another senior member was recently gunned down during a shootout through three other terror fugitives evaded capture. While the arrest of Basri, the suspected number two, who had been the most wanted Santoso fugitive, has significantly weakened the group. National Police's Tinombala Task Force, which was established in January 2016, has been conducting the ongoing manhunt ever since. Under the Jokowi administration, more Islamic State-linked terror suspects have already been killed or arrested than during the previous government. At the end of 2015, the anti-terror detachment Densus 88 has detained a significant number of terror suspects in Lamongan, Banyuwangi, and Sukoharjo.